messing with your brain a little bit. So, you know, enjoy the journey. So, well, you have an amazing jeans. That's why that's why you can eat everything <laughs> you want, right? <laughs> oh no, man! So that, you, you be seeing you see my dad's butt. Like I, I ain't trying to get that big sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need some seconds just to translate to the fans. Okay. Sure. Perfect. A ver, gente, ya saben que aquí a nosotros nos encanta preguntar que cómo es una mañana en la vida de Jay Uso, qué le gusta desayunar. Y resulta que se levanta y alabar a los dientes a los niños y enseguida sándwiches de huevo, básicamente. Y yo le dije, bueno, pero ahora cómo te estás preparando ahora que viene eh, eh, WrestleMania. Y me dijo, mira, la verdad es que a mí me choca esta onda de andar midiendo que cuántos carbs y cuánto no sé qué. No. Yo prefiero comer rico, anoche se comió una pizza, entonces yo soy del club de Jay Uso. So, I want to know, if you have to choose um, between smoothies, tea, or coffee, which one do you prefer? Maybe, I, 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 I want to guess. I think smoothies. Yeah, it was a, it was a choice between smoothies and coffee. But you know, coffee I'll do um, maybe you know just once, like in the afternoon, you know, not in the morning. Um, yeah. You know, but smoothies all day, man, all day. <laughs> and which one is a perfect smoothie for Jay Uso? I mean, you can't go wrong with the, you know, chocolate peanut butter. You know, can't go wrong with that one. <laughs> um, strawberry bananas next. And then mangoes third. Oof. Yeah, okay. what about you? What about you? Okay, I, I think for me, what about mango, coconut milk, and uh, strawberries as well. Mango is my favorite fruit. You have to Yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, I Mango for everything. Mango. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. So, uh, another. Uh, a ver, la, aquí lo pregunto fue que el que prefería. Si prefería café... Eh, smoothies, ya saben que eso está como licuado o condensado o, o té, y le dije déjame adivinar, yo creo que a ti lo que te gusta son los smoothies, y me dijo, pues sí, claro que me encanta, pero yo tomo el cafecito en la tarde, y el smoothie todo el día, a él lo que le gusta básicamente que es chocolate, el smoothie que le gusta es de eh, chocolate con crema de maní, crema de cacahuate, me dijo, chocolate <ríe> chocolate yeah. yes, cacahuate y spinach Oh, peanut? Yeah. Ah. Cacahuate. Cacahuate. Exactly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. now, do you have any, well, you said you, you love pizza, right? Yeah, But I do. Any other cheat meal? Oh, man, brownies, like, big on sweet. Like, I love chocolate. I mean, I love extra fudge brownies, man, with walnuts on them and mm -hmm. ice cream. Preferably strawberry with brownies. Go try it. Go do it. And a big old glass of milk, man. It'll put you right to sleep. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet was... Jane. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that's my new name. Perfect. That's my new name. I, I love brownies. I love brownies as well. Este, a ver, acá la pregunta fue que, que si tenía alguna otra de estos cositos que, que hacen engordar, pero que son deliciosas, y él me dijo, sí, me encantan los brownies, los brownies de chocolate, con tocino y toda la cosa, de todo lo que se come, ve nada más, o sea, esto es, a mí, por eso me cae muy bien. Ok, now, let's talk about WWE. A lot of things happened uh, before WrestleMania, right? But first of all, um, we remember that few months ago, your relationship with Roman Reigns, it was not the best. But now, things change. I want to know what was that change and why? You know, like, so it was just all for my family. You know, if I didn't, if I didn't fall in line, um, man, that was the deal. I, I, I'm out the family. I knew what I was getting myself into. There's always an alpha male in the family, you know. There's always a, a leader. There's always a pack leader in the family. You know, right now, it's my cousin, the big dog, Roman Reigns. And I'm cool with that, you know, because I'm just learning. Like, me being with him this whole time, uh, he has elevated me in ways that I never thought I could 
be elevated. You know, I'm 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 like a tag team guy, but I feel like uh, a lot of people um, really enjoyed me with Roman because of the storyline purpose, right? You know, it was real. It was real, and you know, we moved past that. You know, now we are on the same page now, and we're going into WrestleMania against Edge and Daniel Bryan, and please believe I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be on this right hand side, you know. I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna be right there on April, what is it, April 10th, April 11th, whichever the second day is, that's the <laughs> yeah. day we there. Me and the and the council to to the head of the table, the tribal teeth. It's on. It's on. <laughs> okay, perfect. A ver acá la pregunta fue acerca de que ustedes se acuerdan, gente, ¿no? Que hace unos meses nosotros habíamos visto eh, pues que no se llevaba muy bien con Roman Reigns y de repente, ¡pum!, algo cambió y todo fue como, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es posible? ¿Qué fue lo que cambió? Y él me dice, a ver, primero todo es acerca de la familia. Siempre ha estado como con la familia y para él ha sido muy importante. Entonces, que, que él consideró cuando le cayó el 20, dijo, pues claro que alguien debe estar liderando esto, ¿no? Entonces, qué maravilla que esté, que sea su primo, Roman Reigns, y que todos siempre estén apoyando porque se apoyan, porque le da soporte en su familia unos con otros se apoyan, y dice que aparte de todo, él es un eh, hombre que siempre ha estado como en equipo. Entonces, esto ha servido mucho y que va a servir todavía mucho más ahora que se viene la triple amenaza, que yo estoy esperando tanto, y esa es la siguiente pregunta. ¿Están listos? So, I have to confess something. The match I'm looking forward to the most is the triple threat match. Oh my God, you have no idea. I'm really waiting for that match. But things got out of control a few days ago when Adam Pierce made a decision What kind of decision? I really love it. So what do you think about the decision? To put, uh, is it, I see, I see an old Uso picture in the background over yes, there. There it is. I do not miss the paint. I have to, yeah. <laughs> have to tell you. Let's go. Day one. You day one for real. Day one. <laughs> So you know That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think Adam Pierce messed up, to be honest. You know, I mean, he shouldn't have. Right now, it's, it's supposed to be Edge versus yeah. Roman Reigns, which which was fire, you know. But Daniel, Daniel Bryan isn't going to lay down for nobody. I mean, I've been in the ring with him, like, a couple times, and I think I lost, like, most of the times. But... That guy ain't going nowhere. He's got he's got like some hard grit to him that that it's not going to water down. He ain't going to lay down for nobody, whether it be a um, a Hall of Famer or a future Hall of Famer. Um, he he's not going nowhere. And I, I like how Daniel. I respect Daniel Bryan so much, man, because he's been through a lot in his career. And my hats off to him. You can never knock no one, you know, on just on the worth ethic. The, the work ethic, you know, how they grind, man. I, I always respect that part. Um, but he got to know he's stepping into a cage full of lions right now, especially with one lurking on the outside and you got one on the inside. Um, both Daniel Bryan and Edge need to watch their back on April 10th. And I'm telling you right now, Roman Reigns will retain the Universal Championship. Hands down, we wasting it. We wasting our time right now, going through this triple threat match. We might as well just lay him down right now and let Roman Reigns step on him and count one, two, three, so we can all go home and I can cook some brownies with some with some <laughs> with some strawberry ice cream for the for the tribal <laughs> chief. You know, I mean, he looks great to me. He looks like he needs some pizza. He needs some. He needs some dessert too, you know. Like, man, let's get this. Let's get this, man. You know. But uh, yeah, Adam Pierce messed up, and and if he get involved, if he get in, get involved on, on on Sunday, he better get this work too. Okay. Oh my God, I love you so much. So much. <laughs> I love you too. And, yeah. and maybe you think there's a lot of sweets over there. Yeah, man, it's the sweets. It's the sweets. <laughs> a ver, wow. Tener a Jay Uso en la casa es increíble. Eh, primero de todo se dio cuenta de la fotito que tenemos por acá. Y luego la pregunta fue, que, eh, ¿qué piensa de la decisión de Adam Pierce? Y me dijo, bueno, la neta es que la regó. 
o sea, que no le gusta que haya, hecho esa, que haya tomado esa decisión, porque pues Edge con, con Roman estaba bien, pero que, ¿cómo que Daniel Bryan? A pesar de que respeta mucho su trayectoria y su carrera, pues es algo que no iba. Y entonces me empezó a decir todo lo que viene. O sea, que le pongan a quien le pongan, Roman Reigns va a retener el título y que después de eso se van a ir a celebrar con unos brownies y un smoothie, puras cosas dulces y ricas porque Roman Reigns se lo merece. Entonces va a estar sabroso. Ok. And now, finally, after learning something, WWE is back to business. Finally, WrestleMania 37 with the um, with audience. So, I'm really excited. And, and yes. I, I want to know, what are you expecting from this historic, historical WrestleMania, Jay? Man, I, I can, I mean, it, it, is, it, it is history to making because, you know, COVID shut us down for a whole year. And now we're finally letting our peoples back. We are finally letting our fans back. You know, you know how when something's taken away from you and you, you never thought like, oh, man, I do need my right arm or my, if you bust one of your toes, you can't even walk. You need all 10 of your toes, right? It's mm -hmm. the same, it's the same concept. Like, you know, when the fans got taken away from us, like, I, I didn't, like, man, they are a big part of what we do. Like, They are a huge part of what we do. The reactions, I miss all that. Like I, I miss, I miss the yells. I miss the boos. I miss the, I miss everything, man. I miss, I miss the signs. I miss, I just, I miss all of them. And 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 most importantly, like just just that, just that reaction, that energy in the room. You can't, you you can't, you can't, you can't, um, like replicate that in anywhere, anywhere. So. Yeah. I'm really, 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 really looking forward to coming out and, and just getting, getting hyped, you know, get like, feeding off that energy like we always do, going ooh so crazy, man. And and I, I welcome, I welcome me, the Tribal Chief, and Paul Heyman. Welcome everybody back with with open arms, man. One big hug, man. Come on back. We miss y'all. Come back. I see everybody <laughs> April 9th, to April 10th, man. Let's get it. Ok, a ver, acá la pregunta fue acerca de cómo veía acerca de que eh, WrestleMania regresa por fin, ¿no? Al negocio de tener a la gente por ahí con, o sea, que tengamos ahora su audiencia. Y él me dijo, no sabes lo emocionado que estoy, porque se sintió, o sea, él dice, es que se siente la energía de la gente que está ahí, como la vibra, todo es el recibimiento, bueno, todos están súper contentos, todos están de las manos, y eso me lo dijo, ¿no? Como atrás de bambalinas, todas las superestrellas están muy emocionados esperando como ver a toda la gente levantándose, gritando, que eso va a ser increíble. Ok. And now, let's move on. Um, we have some questions from fans. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Of course, of course. A ver. Um, ok. Uh, this one. Uh, are you having fun with Roman Reigns? Am I having fun with Roman? Yes. Yes, this yes. is the this is the most fun I've ever had. Like, I like I like going into work and I like being around him. I like being around Paul Heyman, especially Paul Heyman. You know, learning just learning learning the 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 ins and outs of this yeah. industry. Still, still, you know, if 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 I'm not learning every day, then I mean, you know, hang up the boots, Oops, you know. But I'm always learning something, man, and he helps me with. Even, even, even Roman, you know, with my character, man, just you, you know, uh, promo, mannerism, camera work, all, all that, man. So yeah, I'm, I'm having a great time. Okay, es que si se está divirtiendo con con Roman y dice, por supuesto, nunca me he divertido tanto. Siempre aprende muchísimo de Paul Heyman. ¿no? O sea, porque pues, es una persona que lleva muchísimo tiempo en la industria, entonces que él sabe perfecto cómo, o sea, cómo moverse. Entonces, claro que se está divirtiendo. Another one. So, um, a ver, let me, let me check. Uh, who is, ok, this one. Uh, who is your dream opponent in WrestleMania? Mm, that's a good one. Uh, my dream opponent For WrestleMania will be my brother Jimmy. <gasps> yeah, in a ladder match. Let's go. Oh, I want to see that. We'll tear it up. We'll tear it up. Please, I want to see that. 
soon. Okay. <laughs> maybe like maybe like uh like my dad is like a special guest referee or something. Okay. I mean, that'll be that'll be dope. That'll be dope. Okay, amazing. Gente, pues imagínense que su dream match, o sea, su, su lucha de ensueño, sería con Jimmy, con su hermano, en una lucha de escaleras. Imagínense un WrestleMania con Jimmy y Jay en una lucha de escaleras. Yo lo pago, yo lo quiero ver. Yo lo quiero ver. <laughs> yeah. And another one. A ver. Ah, y que con su papá como referee de invitado, tal vez. Sorry. Y, a ver. Sorry, um, sorry, boys. This one. So... If you can have a match with any legend, it will be against who? If I can have a match against any legend, uh, yeah. first it would be Shawn Michaels. I, Shawn I would, Michaels. I, I would have loved to go against Shawn Michaels, like in his prime, right? Uh, Bret Hart. Okay. All, all this is in the prime, you know, and and for a uh, tag team. Legion of Doom. No yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. It was the Hardy Boys, but we, we I, I finally got to mark that off my list. We went against the Hardy Boys. Uh, we went against the Dudleys. Uh, so, yeah. Hell okay. yeah. I want to see that as well. I mean, it would be amazing. A ver, yeah. Legion of Doom me dijo que si fuera contra los usos, ¿no? Y que, o también como los Hardy Boys. Pero que también eh, Shawn Michaels, o, o sí, Shawn Michaels. Entonces, pero bueno, eso ya pasó, entonces no se puede. Así que vamos Bret a ver quién. Y Bret Hart. Bret Hart, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, y esa es otra. O los Dudley también dijo, Dudley. Perfect. So, the last one, last one. The last question, and that's all. <laughs> a ver. Uh, 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 a lot of people is wondering... Do you like that this one? So, do you like a dream match Roman Reigns between The Rock uh, versus The Rock? Of course, of course, man. This is this is right in itself. One of these years we gotta have Roman Reigns versus The Rock, and then when The Rock comes, he when when The Rock steps up, he about to get put right back down. You understand what I'm saying? Like, ain't gonna be no more Rock. It's all Roman Reigns from here on that. That, Roman Reigns is the leader. Roman Reigns is a tribal chief. The Rock might be the great one, but damn it, who's sitting at the head of the table? My cousin, Roman Reigns, Rock. It's for you, Rock. If you want to step up, Boos, you better get put back down, dog. I know y'all in movies and stuff together, but if you come to this WWE arena, if you step up, dog, I'm telling you, we're going to lay you right back down, Rock. Okay, be careful, Oos. Be careful. I don't care how many energy drinks you drink. I don't care how many, how many, <laughs> how many weights you lift, Oos. Better be ready, dog, because we here and we ain't never left. Wow, my God, <laughs> we have something here amazing and huge. Let's Woo! go. Let me something be the ref. Sweet. Let me be the referee. <laughs> A ver, gente, pues acaba de decir algo bien padre. Queden todos, por favor, manden eso, porque esto seguramente va a ser un highlight, que acerca de, claro, claro, y que se aguante, por favor, que tiene que tomar muchas bebidas energéticas, porque Roman Reigns lo va a sacar del mapa. Roman Reigns lo va a borrar del mapa. Y él quiere ser el referee. Básicamente está diciendo que Roman Reigns va a decirle chau, chau a la roca. ¿Qué tal con esto? Oh my God, oh la la, oh my God. Oh la la, oh my God. <laughs> so, this is the last step of this interview. So, uh, for this memorable WrestleMania, let's imagine that it's a, uh, uh, a party wrap. Uh, WrestleMania mm -hmm. party wrap, wrap up. Uh, which are the four items that uh, I can never forget to buy for this party that you're organizing? Let's imagine that you're organizing that party. And we need four items? Yep. To bring? Yep. Well, well first of all, I'm going to say beer. All right? <laughs> I'm going with cervezas. that. Yeah, yeah cervezas. Uh, what else? I mean, some guacamole dip and chips. Yeah! It's got to be... It's got to be homemade, though. You, okay. you know how to make. You got. You know how to make some good guacamole. Yes, of course. I can make it. And it's 
so yummy. You have no idea. So guacamole. Right. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> yeah, guacamole. It's one of my specialities. You 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 didn't know that, but now you know. Wait, there's a. I don't know what it is, but it's like fried. It's fried bananas. Uh, I don't know. Fried bananas. Fried bananas. I don't know what the name of that is, but uh, we'll get there. Uh, so what I got? Cervezas, guacamole, guacamole. Some, some plantains. That's what it is. I like I like munching on that stuff. And, I, and then I, and then I, I'm gonna go right back to the damn brownies and, and strawberry ice cream. Yay! My bad. I, mean, I can't I can't Perfect. help. It. I cannot help. In Spanish, it. the 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 fried banana is um, uh, patacones. Patacones. In Colombia. But in Venezuela and, and, and Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico is tostones. Tostones, that stuff. Tostones. That's it. That's it. Man, that's good, man. I knew it. I love it. I love the tostones with the guacamole. Perfect. Man. Oh, you can mix that? You can mix of, that? Of course you can mix everything with guacamole. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> A ver, entonces, cerveza, guacamole, tostones y brownie con helado. ¡Pum! ¡Perfect pie! 